seen threats exempt as people. I've read in recent time the claims that literature has made. The image of my kind is just a common book charade. They demonize this thing that I made. The truth is lost, the cliches still remain. And from the dead there springs a tale that must be told. An epic life connected through a single thread of gold. And how from death into damnation I was turned. This time this vampire shared his story with the world. <laughs> <laughs> my twenty-first year, I went out alone on horseback to kill a pack of wolves. Thank you. 
kingdom come. Take these to start your new life. No. Take the jewels. They are of no use to me. I doubt I will leave here. I doubt I will see another spring. The pain is too bad. Uh -huh. I did not tell you this to keep you with me. I told you because I want you to live the life I never could. There's nothing in here. Oh, 
You'll be playing the comedy in no time. I'll never be a great violinist, I know that now. At least at home I can pretend it is possible. It is possible. It's not. We cannot all be like you, Lestat. You have a radiance about you. Everyone sees it. I have nothing like that. Stop! I hate that kind of talk. We've escaped with our fathers. We're living in Paris doing what we both love to do, and somehow you find a way to make yourself miserable. I don't understand. I wouldn't understand. You couldn't. I need air. I'm going outside. Can't you see this music weeps like cool and cleansing rain? This most sweet magic from the strings, yet not enough to soothe his pain. Can't he see inside of me this dark and eternal light? Like chains I hang on his ascent, or so eclipse his brilliant light. Could it be we drank so long to act upon the stage and play? And now it all comes down to this. Our lives divide to a separate No! 
your poor wife has set her free and your blood is quite fire in my veins. I live. I am not 
take long for the pain to pass. No, this is nothing compared to what I have known. It may go faster if you drink now. The thirst will carry you into it. No! No! Oh, 
I don't know what is good. An interesting question, but if I am evil, I can assure you it has nothing to do with the devil. Satan is a vengeful lord, and you offend him with your arrogance. You offend me. As our elder, I was hoping you might share your wisdom, knowledge, the meaning of our immortality. Instead, you spew this nonsense. You must follow me. What will you do if we do not strike us dead with Satan's hand? I'm waiting. Still waiting. We can learn nothing from him. But what of the violinist? Nicholas, what have you done to him? Where is he? In the catacombs of this little soul. Among the dead. Oh, 
wretched crypt you live in, shine forms of light that you cannot kill. It's finished. Our Lord, why have you lied to us? To shield you brought. The laws have kept the children of darkness safe for one hundred years. But we are not children. We do not need your lies to protect us.
Nicholas, what's wrong? Ah, your first disaster. Arnold, oh, what is wrong with him? He's lost somewhere between life and death. How could this happen? Did Magnus tell you nothing in the dark? I didn't even know it had a name. <laughs> and still you blunder on. The dark gift never brings the love you seek. The ones you make will only grow to hate you, or blame you, or go mad like this one. Ah, Nicholas! So you see, you have doomed him and all of my followers as well. I have freed them. Is that what you think? You've made them believe they can live among them. But it is an age-old truth among us. Live among mortals, and the passing years will drive you to despair. See others grow old, die, to lose all you understand and cherish, who, who can endure it. It will drive you to madness. That will not happen to me. Or are you that strong? Perhaps you are. But the vampire who dwells among mortals faces a dreadful hell long before madness comes. Grows to love them. I love them now. I never stopped loving them. How sad it is that you do not. And there will come a moment when you can no longer bear to take life. Then only the madness or your own, your own death is the pain. Madness or the flames? These are my choices now. There must be one of us somewhere on this earth who has found a way to survive. I offered the way. You were too arrogant to see it. everything you touch. Nicholas, are you there? Pray. Pray.
was his muse, and he was my maker. If he was known to mortals, he must have lived among them. A fatal error of Marius is the answer. He will show me how to survive this. Where is he now? Where can I find him? You cannot find him. There are rumors that he was sighted in Egypt or Greece, but that was over a hundred years ago. Some say the world swallowed him up. Some say he was mad. So what do you say? Marius is going into the fire. Gabriel, you said you wanted to leave the city. I am ready to take the devil's road through Europe, Egypt, and Greece. You cannot find Marius. Even if you stood on the highest mountain in the world and shouted his name, he would not answer. You know this because you have tried. I will find him. I will not stop until I do madness or the flames will not be my end. Let me come with you. If it is a fool's errand, why do you wish to join us? There is nothing left for me here. You cannot come with us. But I have all the knowledge you seek. I seek. Marius, can you help me find him? You will remain here and take charge of the fear. Let the others before lead them again in this new endeavor. What if the violinist? Will you leave him with no one to protect him? You will protect him. Oh, of course I will. <laughs> Poor violinist. Abandoned by his maker. You understand that, don't you? I'm not abandoning you, Nicholas. We are leaving Paris, but we will return. We will return. Remember my words, Miss Cap. Even that one, you will be always and forever alone. For ten years, Gabriel and I followed the Devil's Road in search of the elusive Marius. I etched messages on the walls throughout Europe in the hopes that he would read me. At times, I was certain I felt his presence, but he did not make himself known to me. As we traveled, my thoughts often returned to the Nicholas.
Thank you. 